Right, please excuse me, I have a cough sweet in. Because I'm not doing that great. And it's her fault. It's actually a real shame because this is a beautiful location. And I'd love to like climb up there today. But I just don't have the energy. I, we're literally walking down to this little stream and that'll be it. I'll be done. Uh, she did this to me. I'm really sorry. And she's fine now. I'm not fine. You are. I'm still tired, but yeah, I'm a lot. I'm a hell of a lot better. We've just got to try not to infect Megan. I know. She's definitely going to get it. No. She is. She keep your distance, and she'll be fine. She'll be all over me. She will be. She loves you, Cam. <laughs> she'll be watching us like. <laughs> <laughs> oh bloody hell! Oh, yes. No. Be quiet. Please do not chase me. Do not chase me. Come on, Nadine. Yeah, such a good mom. Well done. Thank you. I'm so proud of her. You see how like ferociously she was running then. She's gonna fuck me up. No chance you didn't want to. Yeah, I'm too weak to defend him off. <laughs> and Odin's all talk. There is no way he'd have actually put his mm, right. for sheep into action. He'd have just been like, yeah, let's play. <laughs> Alright, let's go down to the stream. And then come back up this hill. Come on. Odin, you going to water? Yeah. Hello, I am alive. So dramatic. What? Dramatic? Not as dramatic as you were. So we are on our way up to Loch Lomond. Um, we just stopped off and taken the dogs for a walk and had a bit of food and some coffee. And yeah, now we're going to Loch Lomond. Yes, yeah, so we're stopping off at there and I think we're going to stay for the night just at the top of Loch Lomond and the pothole. Move on to Oban in the morning. This road is horrible. Yeah, moving on to Oban in the morning because we're then getting a ferry going over to Isle of Mall. Now, I've got a little bit of a problem with the ferry is that I get seasick. And we found out when we went over to the Isle of Harris. Uist. Uist. Just below Harris, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was sort of mine and Rachel's first holiday together where we went and stayed <laughs> in the treehouse. It was really cool though. Yeah, I think it's like one of the first videos on my YouTube channel as well. Yeah. Um, we went together that though. It's like, fuck it, let's go to Scotland and throw a tree yeah, in the treehouse. Literally. <laughs> so I'm hoping tomorrow it's not going to be that bad. It's an hour's journey. Yeah, last time it was more than that. We were on the ferry. Yeah. Is it the same sort of ferry where you've yeah, got like a pick up sand? Yeah. That's cool. But yeah, let's see what uh, what happens today. <laughs> the 
so we just got to uh, Loch Lomond and it's horrible out there. <laughs> it's bloody horrible. I'll pinch some footage from Rachel and show you. Because <laughs> I didn't take the GoPro. I just, I don't know, I wasn't hopeful. So the girls are still out there. I've come back. And I'm going to chill inside with the boys in the warp. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wait, You're okay. No. <laughs> Do you want to go back to the van? I think I'm going to go back to the van. <laughs> oh, baby, go on, yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Remember that knocking noise that wasn't going to be a problem? It's a problem. Yeah, it's, it's bad. You'll hear it in a second. Uh, we are on Oberd and we've just been going around to all the garages to see who can help us. And this is our last hope. A place called Flit. So keep going straight down here. Hear that? People on the street are looking at me. It's not great news. Um, we've had to call out our RAC breakdown because there is uh, no garages around here that will work on the vehicle. Um, four out of five breakdowns are fixed at the side of the road. However, I don't think this is gonna get fixed. Um, purely because he's gonna need a part, isn't he? And what's the chances that you're gonna be able to find parts around here? So, that's 500 miles back home. Which is just shit news anyway. But we're traveling with Meg and we both feel fucking horrible like we knew we had this knocking noise didn't seem like it was going to be a major problem but it is uh, right there is a smile on my face however the pride that i have in myself has been destroyed <laughs> i was gonna say tested <laughs> yeah so when i was at my parents house took the wheel off spencer came around checked everything couldn't find anything wrong we had the RAC guy came out. I say RAC, it's a local tyre yeah. specialist around here that delves with everything. Uh, yeah, he he looked at it, literally just rolled it back and forth and heard the knock and he was like, I don't need to drive it any further. Jacked it up, looked underneath, he couldn't find anything wrong. Uh, so we loaded it back down, he was like, don't know what you want to do. And I was like, well, let's go and take it for a proper test drive because if you're telling me just drive it, that's not the right answer. We took it for a test drive and he was like, what the fuck is that? Um, we ran through a few things, we got back, he jacked it back up, he had another little look. He then came in, locked on the door, he says, who was the last person to work on your van? I was like, depends what it is. And he's like, it was you, wasn't it? I was like, yeah. Took me round and all of the nuts were relatively loose on the wheel. And I was just like, oh shit. Bearing in mind, we have done 500 miles now, and after you do a wheel, I think every like 200 miles, you're gonna check the nuts. Now, I know I did have a comment uh, in my video about uh, painting the wheels and doing them up properly, and it will make them loose. Yes, that's exactly what happened, and the wheel basically wasn't sitting right. And so as we were driving, that's what that knocking was. It's really fucking dangerous. Really fucking dangerous. Um, now, the reason I didn't check them when we started to hear the noise is when I was looking around the vehicle, obviously I'm looking for like problems with the steering, uh, anti-roll bar, everything like that. I did look at the nuts and I was like, 
right they don't seem to have moved um they all seem like they've still got like the same amount of thread past the bolt so nothing like really stood out from me like something's wrong there um but yeah obviously there there was uh he has tightened them up now we had a good laugh about it he did say to me like oh, i've done it a few times mate don't worry about it <laughs> i was like that makes me feel better however i'm a fucking idiot i'm an idiot i'm, I'm an absolute idiot i bought tools to check for these things and i didn't check for these things i am gonna slightly blame my cold all right because I, I'm definitely not thinking straight and oh learner just stalled it um that was the guy that was the mechanic <laughs> we have missed out on time obviously on mall uh it looks like we are going to get the ferry for two o'clock so an hour and a half time we'll see if we can still get over today which would be an absolute result because I obviously feel very bad right now. Sorry girls. Right, we have finally made it to the ferry port. About eight hours later. The ferry's just arrived and we should be boarding soon. One of the guys just came up to me and said, is that Jerry Cat on the back? I said, yeah, it's empty. It's about half full. It's empty, isn't it? Yeah, it's empty. If anybody asks, it's empty. <laughs> I'm guessing you're not allowed a jerry can on the outside of your vehicle on a ferry. There you go. We're on the ferry. Felt like it wasn't going to happen for a while. Oh, looking at the jerry can. Except two. Except two. <laughs> Some doggies get special treatment. <laughs> Two minutes no into the water. <laughs> no ships have sunk. No one's We have made it to the Isle of Mall. Yay! Uh, it's weird driving here because there's like no cars whatsoever. It is nine o'clock at night now. Um, yeah, there's just absolutely no one. 
It's quite nice. Beautiful scenery, obviously, already. Yeah. Uh, we just went to a park up literally like a minute from the ferry. Um, but it looks like they're developing on it now. So we're going to another one. It's about 20 minutes away, 16 minutes away now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna park up for the evening and just chill. Chuck the girls overboard. Now I'm just out here by myself. I know. We battle. Next time we are going to battle. Ha 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 ha! He admitted defeat. <laughs> <laughs> 